mascara did not come to play. I do feel like a princess with this one. Hi, I'm Elena Garcia, and I work on the market team here at BuzzFeed, and what that means is that I get to spend all day online shopping. Today I'm going to show you guys five of the best beauty products that you can find for under $15 on Amazon. I've also recruited two of my colleagues, Caroline and Vivian, to test these IRL to see if they actually live up to the hype. If any of these products pique your interest, they're all linked down below, so feel free to check them out. The first product I want to share with you guys is the Cetaphil Pro purifying clay mask. Since I turned about 12 years old until this very day, I will always have acne. And this is one of the few products that helps kind of ease it down. If you have big pores, it's also really great for that because it helps with the texture of your skin. There's something about the way it leaves your skin feeling so refreshed. This is what my skin looks like before applying the Cetaphil clay mask. I'm really excited. I have a lot of impurities right here and I have them right here. So I'm definitely gonna hit those spots. I think that masks are the way to get your skin in shape while you're at home. I get hormonal acne, so I'm hoping this can really help with my skin situation. Oh. And it comes with a spatula, love it. So like I said, I'm gonna put some on my nose. I've never actually used one of these little spatula things. Part of it makes me feel like, oh my God, I'm like a mini esthetician. I have very sensitive skin. A good sign is that once I put this on, it doesn't, I don't feel any tingling or anything. It doesn't smell like anything. For some reason, I thought it was gonna have a scent and it doesn't have one. I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes, it says, and then I'll come back. We'll see what my skin looks like. My skin looks so taut. My pores are really tight right now in the best of ways. This guy is not even there anymore. So that was pretty impressive if you ask me. The next product I'm gonna show you guys is the Chic Silk Touch-Up Face Razors, which I know sounds intimidating, at least it did to me. But I did a little bit of research and it turns out a lot of people like Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe all used to shave their face because it's a fantastic exfoliant. The key for application is to make sure that you're using it on clean, dry skin. It's important to break your face up into sections and use the razor at a 45 degree angle in short strokes. It'll help clear away peach fuzz. It'll help get rid of dead skin. The blades are designed with fine micro guards. So you're not gonna be cutting up your skin. It's just a very light kind of swoosh across. I've been plucking my own eyebrows for about two, three years. I'm really excited to try this eyebrow razor because I feel like it's gonna be something different and maybe something that I can get a more clean finish to my eyebrows. For the most part, there's just like a little bit of hairs right here that I can get done. I, I'm sick of this unibrow section. Like, why do, you, why do we grow hair there? I have some tin hair that I guess I just kind of neglected to hashtag in the house. It's painless, which I love. It's kind of cool. I see all the hair here. That is a lot of hair. Let's get this unibrow action gone. Oh, I just chopped something off that I wasn't supposed to, but it doesn't look bad. Oh my God, it literally gets rid of everything. The hair came off so easily and my face feels so smooth, especially my chin because of some like skin damage from a couple years ago. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Now we have to put moisturizer on just cause it gets very exfoliating. I think that's one thing that I would like better about tweezers is that it gets the hairs out the root of it. This one kind of just chops the top off, although it does do a very good job and it's very painless. The next product I'm going to show you guys is O'Keeks for Healthy Feet Foot Cream. It has over 7,000 five-star reviews on Amazon. They recommend that you use it immediately after showering or before bed. That way it gives it time to really soak in and do its magic. It can heal your dry feet in ways I don't know if the Lord ever intended. I do tend to get dry feet. I do put moisturizer on them, but I sometimes feel like I need to put something more thick like a cream, and this is a cream, so maybe it will work. It's my bedtime now. I'm going to apply the Healthy Feet Foot Cream, and I put these socks on so the moisture stays. Sleep on that tonight, and then tomorrow, we'll see the results. It dissolves pretty quickly. It said there might be some stickiness, but I don't feel any stickiness. I just got out of the shower. My callus on my right foot is gone. It's practically gone, like look. 
It was here yesterday and now it's not there. And even when I took it off before the shower, my feet already looked very clear. I think this is really good. The next product I'm gonna show you guys is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This mascara is a crowd favorite with over 7,000 five-star reviews. People swear by this stuff. They say it doesn't fade, they say it makes their lashes super long, and it stays on all day without giving you those like crusties underneath your eyes. Plus, it's cruelty-free. I don't have a lot of hair, so it's not really thick. So I definitely need mascara. Otherwise, I just look like I got a beat face, but it's not complete. Like, look at that. I didn't even curl my eyelashes and it looks like they're curled. So far, oh! So this is the eye that is done and this is the eye without. That is a very visible difference, huh? What, this is $5? This is ridiculous. This is my lashes before. Like, literally, look how long that looks. That's insane. I'm actually gonna use this because I don't feel like putting on strip lashes right now. I feel like this is enough. It's 11 o'clock right now. These lashes basically stayed on all day. I'm pretty impressed. I feel like they are a little flaky. Actually, no, nothing came off. This is probably the best thing I've ever gotten in my life. And last but not least is this hair scalp massager. It has over 4,000 five-star reviews. It can cure all your kind of aches and pains or your headaches after a long day. The key is these silicone bristles that it has. They're super flexible and can move around and you can just do small circular motions and sectioned off places on your head. It's amazing what little silicone bristles can do. A lot of multicultural women have hair similar to mine and scratching the scalp is definitely a thing. So this is probably a way that you can really get in there with your scalp and not have to use your nails, especially if you have press-ons. Like you know when you go to like hair salons and they like massage your scalp? It literally feels like that. And I really like the grip of this. Look. I almost feel like it's kind of helping my curls be more defined. Oh yeah, this spot right here, that feels so good. <laughs> I don't know if I would spend money on something like this. I couldn't really feel a difference within my hair, but it did feel very nice. It was a nice little massage. Is it something I'm gonna rush to go buy? Not necessarily, I don't think it's like an urgent need, but it's a nice little luxury item to have. I really enjoyed every single product. My top two are gonna be number one, Lash Princess. I've gotten so many compliments from like using this. Cetaphil Pro Clay Mask. Honestly, my skin feels super smooth and I do feel like my pores are minimizing. So these are my top two. I would definitely say the eyebrow razor was surprisingly one of my favorites. I got some hair off of my face that I didn't even realize was there. My other favorite is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It's so cool because you actually see my individual lashes. Between the eyebrow razor and this, I'm Gucci. I'm solid. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed all of these products that I selected. All of the links are down below in case you're interested in kind of exploring them a little bit more. BuzzFeed may collect a small share of the sales and all of the prices and availability were accurate at the time of filming. Let me know if you like these products down below or if you have any recommendations of products that we should include in our next video.